out. This is a guitar that Martin Guitar Company uh, produced in commemoration of my father in the year 2000. My father passed away in 1990, and he had been sawing lumber up at Martin Guitar Company for years before he passed away. And so they decided to commemorate him. They took a chance. It's the first time they did a commemorative guitar for a woodworker instead of a musician. And uh, they let me have a part in designing it. Um, they had some Clara Walnut sets here. And uh, they're book matched in the back. And I suggested that they do butterflies. They had a terrible time with the butterflies. Mm -hmm. I also wanted them to do a matte finish so it wasn't real shiny and, and you know, plastically looking like most of the guitars. They had a terrible time with the finish. They had to redo them several times. This is Sitka Spruce. They um, imported from uh, Europe because it has a nice sound. But the Clara Walnut has a different tonality than most of the woods that they use, and they had to restructure all the inside in order to um, get a good sound. They also made the neck, um, I think, a quarter of an inch wider than normal um, so that it's it's ideal for finger picking. I'm not very good at finger picking but <laughs> and because my hands are too small. Well, I don't practice enough, that's why. But um, it's, and I thought we would have rosewood as the fretboard in the beginning, but they said that ebony is much better. It's a much more consistent color. It's harder. And um, I wanted to incorporate somehow the, um, the family crest. This is our family crest here, uh, which is the Nakashima emblem from way back. And uh, so they incorporated the family crest under the Martin signature. They also, I broke it down and into little parts to mark um, the, the markers here on the fret markers. There's, there's one whole crest, and then there's some broken up into smaller pieces. And down here, um, I didn't want it to be too obvious, and I asked them to do a script reproduction of my father's signature. And I didn't realize how complicated that is, but they did a beautiful job. And they also inlaid mother of pearl around the sound hole here. So that's the Nakashima commemorative guitar and I'm, it has a really nice sound. I wish I could play it better, but <laughs> it has a really nice sound and I enjoy playing it anyway. So it has a it it, it has um, it's almost a cross between a classical and a, a steel string dreadnought, which it really is. <laughs> but it has a, a sweeter sound and it has a real deep bass like the dreadnoughts. But it has um, um, a much more. They had some special strings they also uh, use on this guitar. They they are steel strings, but they're much softer than some of them, and they have a they have a nice tone and they're easier to work and and some of the, the dreadnoughts, which are hard to play. It's a little big for me, but I like it anyway. <laughs> 